do a tug test real quick. Should be good. I don't think anyone pulled my release lever here at CFI, but you just never know. Good morning there, uh, little riding with your YouTube fans. I'm gonna try to talk today like Peter Griffin. <laughs> no, I can't. I wish I could do that. That would make, that would make these videos so cool if I could like talk like Peter Griffin or something or like if I was like a impressions guy dude I saw this guy last night on TikTok, dude he could do like all the voices like Beavis Butthead uh, Peter Griffin like Chris Lois I was just like wow dude I'm jelly oh what in the no I'm not doing that that does not look like it's good that does not look like it's good on the new trucks but yeah oh, I'm gonna I don't know maybe it just takes practice maybe I should try to talk with like one of them they need to have like you know like Duolingo or whatever you know how uh, you know how in Duolingo you know you can learn a different language well they should like teach you how to speak like someone like that oh my god dude Sucks butt. I don't even, I don't even know, dude. But anyways, we're headed down to Waco today. We got 548 miles to cover in our old gizzard here. 548 miles. And uh, my name is Cleveland Brown. And I'm proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. Just kidding. I don't, I don't, I don't know, guys, okay? Open the gate, boy. Open the gate. We need to get going, boy. We're trying to get down to Waco, Texas here today, and it's 550 miles, and we got to drive three hours like we did yesterday, and then we got to stop and get some lunch and probably some dinner because the pilot in Waco, when I get there, it's going to be like 11 o'clock. I know Trucker Path says I'll be there at 8 or 7.30, but there's no way. At 580 miles, it's just not gonna happen. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. But anyways, we're headed out now. We're gonna drive about 195, 250 miles, somewhere in there. Stop and get some lunch, cause uh, Jay's fat and Jay always needs to eat. So even though we're even though we're restricting ourselves to 2,000 calories a day. Boy, I'll tell you what, every single one of those calories counts, dude. I am freaking so hungry. I'm not I'm not like starving like I was the other day when I woke up at 5.30 and drove to like 2 in the afternoon before I ate. That was awful, dude. I was like, I was, that was like the first time in like a very, very long time that my stomach started cramping. You know what I'm saying? There's always people who need money sitting at this corner here. So, uh, yeah. And they always like just stare you in the eyes like they want to pierce your soul and you're just like bro I, I can't do it please don't look at me i don't have any cash but you know they're like oh it's a truck driver he's rich yeah i'm not rich <laughs> maybe i'll have some more freed up income to give to homeless people when i drive for a different company and make more money per mile but not right now i mean this this week's check which it's taken over a week, so you gotta like average it out, you know, but last week we put 3,300 miles on the one check, but we still have 550 miles left of that. So really, we only put, I don't know. I needed a 34, so I took one, but I probably could have delivered this yesterday, which the pay period ends on Saturday, and God, I'm just talking so much. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. So it's been about four hours of driving now, so we're gonna take this exit here and uh, stop at this Love's and get some lunch. Um, I think we knocked quite a few miles out. We're down to like 324 miles, which is about, uh, let's see, four hours is 260. So it's about five hours here um, from here. So hopefully we can be there by, you know, here in five hours, uh, get it dropped. So we can get there in five hours. So oh, we might hit that bird. Get out of the way, bird. Uh, if we can get there in five hours, we should be able to uh, deadhead up to Seagullville tonight. Um, but we got to be really good with our clock to be able to manage that one because it's going to be tight. 
literally put me at a 650 mile day. So we gotta, really gotta save our hours here. Um, on a good day, you know, it'll be good. But if it's a bad day, a lot of traffic, it's probably not gonna happen. We'll probably have to stop in Waco for the night. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be anywhere that I can get truck parking whenever, you know, five hours from now, it'll be about 8.30, 9 o'clock, pulling in, get a drop to grab an empty, head back up to Siegelville. We should be good. We'll see though. You know, it's never guaranteed. We've got to get some parking too, so I'll take a couple minutes. And then we're gonna get some Hardee's for lunch because I'm I'm getting hungry. Steaks, tacos, all that stuff across the street. But we're stopping at this Loves here. even know what entrance we're supposed to pull in but I guess I'll follow that truck down there I just pulled in at the end and take our 30 minute break per se honestly it doesn't even look like there's many stop spots right now that's all right we'll park here at the bottom walk a little ways up for us No biggie. Let's see. Is that a pull through actually? No, they have concrete there. Let's see. Can we find a pull through maybe? Nope. Oh boy. These trucks are at an angle. There's two spots. We're just gonna take this one actually. I don't, I mean, I'm backing in here, man. This is the kind of stuff that I was talking about, wasting my clock here. All right, I had the right of way. I waited for this guy to go around me. Instead, he wants to, you know, park in that spot. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with you guys. All right, now it's time for us to park. I don't really care.
would have been easier if that guy in that blue truck wasn't there because I could have swung out earlier, but we were kind of close to this guy on the inside. All right, guys, time to leave the loves. Uh, they had about 1,100 calories back there. I don't know if I can make this right hand turn out of here or not. I'm gonna try it though. Yeah, we're good. Check that front mirror. I don't know why I always keep my hand down here, dude. I've been doing it a lot more recently, like holding my hand over the brakes. I know like in flight school, they like on takeoff, are you supposed to keep one hand on the yoke and like one hand over here on the throttle, but I haven't flown a plane in forever. So like, I don't know why that happens there, but every time I like push them in, I'll hold them like this. Like while I'm driving out of the truck stop and I'm like, what in the world? But we had a message, Chad, cause he sent us a message this morning as soon as we started driving saying that we weren't gonna make our camera appointment uh, for the new camera in the truck that um, was scheduled for noon today. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I took a 34 this weekend and uh, I have to reschedule. And then he was said something about uh, like them not being able to do it over the weekends. And I'm like, I'm talking about tomorrow, reschedule for tomorrow. And he's like, okay, thanks. So. I don't know, dude. Hardee's is okay, but I, I don't know. I don't think it's that great. Like, I don't know. I was going to have the grilled chicken sandwich, but I ended up getting a burger and a bacon cheeseburger because I haven't, I don't know. I just haven't had, like, beef from Hardee's in a long time. That is a beautiful Pete there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, 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 oh I want one. Let's see if he'll give us one back. Yo, Silver Pete, that's beautiful. Yeah, I'm trying to get one like that one day. Don't do it, bro. That's, that's, that's money it. That's money That's a nice truck, dude. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I've been like, I, like before I became a truck driver, I wasn't really into like the W900s or the 339s, right? Or the 393s. I'm not. It's one of those. I think it's a 339. I wasn't really into them. I was just like, oh, that's, that's a cool looking truck, but like, I'm not like fangirling over it. But here recently, man, I just, I've been so obsessed with the W900s and the Pete's. Like, I've been, I've been looking at them, like seeing how much they're going for. Jay doesn't have the money right now to swing it, otherwise I would, but hopefully here soon, my uh, goals and ambitions keep paying forward and We'll be driving a sweet show truck, but we're gonna be using it to make content and haul loads across the country and it stick me out like a sore thumb, you know? You see that truck, you know who it is, but that's the goal, man. That, that was beautiful Pete there, I, I don't know. So anyways, we got 323 miles to go today, or remain, no, we got 423 if we can swing it. I don't know if we'll be able to or not, because we have seven hours of drive time. I don't think it's gonna be possible. We'll find out here in a little bit. All right, guys, so we made it to Waco here. Um, he told us to drop us in, drop it in a spot over here, but there's no empty spots. He gave me a spot number. It's not empty, obviously, so. I was gonna say we're gonna put it in that one, but uh, oh, it looks a little tight. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another one down here a little bit further. Um. But we're gonna try to make it up to Siegelville, I guess. I have I have some hours, or I have like an hour and 55 minutes. It's 107 miles. It's 107 miles, so I guess we're gonna try to make it over there and get it dropped. Maybe that was the only spot. Maybe I should have backed it into that spot. Or no, here's one right here. I think, I hope. a little better all right cut it up and we're gonna cut it back here right there now we need to look outside Pull it just a little bit more here. I 
I think it's a lot harder to back next to empty trailers than it is with a trailer that has a truck on the front of it. That was bad. left here. Oh, it's so close. Let me, let me pull out of here. Needed to travel a little bit further away from that trailer before we start cutting it in. There we go. Good thing there's more room. That other side we would have mess this up pretty bad. I'm gonna pull to the left here and back right. <laughs> I hogged this inside line though because that other trailer was closer to that inside line so I wanted to make sure that I had enough space on that back side that I couldn't see. But this right here is gonna work. And we're gonna get out and drop it here. Um, we'll probably see you guys here in Siegelville in a little bit. Oh lordy boys, it's getting tight. We got 22 minutes left and we got like 33 minutes left, or 22 miles left. 33 minutes left on our clock. This is gonna be probably the lowest I've ever Oh shoot, is that traffic stopped up ahead, bro? <laughs> oh my goodness, we cannot deal with stop traffic right now. We literally need like a beeline straight to Seagullville, okay? I wish I could take this thing off the road and just fly that way. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't really have time for traffic to be honest with you guys. We hit some, back there there's some construction, we were doing like 40 for like a mile. I was like, bro, I know a mile is not very long, but that probably took two extra minutes off my clock. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, there's a lot of tail lights up ahead. Hopefully, the, even if the flow of traffic's going 50, hopefully they'll be cleared out by the time I get up there to take that exit towards Interstate or on I-20 eastbound towards Siegelville. Man, I, I'm curious, we're gonna look at when I get parked tonight, how many miles I actually covered today. I think it's, I don't think it's a record. Um, so I think I've done like 665 in a day here at CFI. Um, but like I said before, you know, if you're governed at 68 miles an hour, you're probably going to cover maybe 690 miles max in a day. If you're governed at like 70, you're probably going to cover like 712 miles a day max. Like basically whatever you're governed at, 10x that, that's about what you're going to do. Because you're never going to average that all throughout the day because I guess I need to leave my trend signal on. You're not going to average that through the entire day because you just have uh, a lot of miles to cover. Um, and being 75,000 pounds, going up a hill, you're going to slow down. And, you know, depending on how big the hill is, you might get down to like 40 miles an hour. Well, on the other side, going back down that hill, you're not going to go... 110 miles an hour to make up for that speed difference that you lost, you know. So it's kind of uh, kind of a sticky situation. It'd be nice if like truckers like were allowed to like just do an average of like 70, you know. So then like going down the side of a hill, you could do 110. That'd be very unsafe. Though. I'll tell you what, I've gone down some hills, hit like 73, and then had a turn up ahead that was like 55. Like most, you can maybe do. 67 around that curve but you're gonna be pushing it you're gonna feel like feel like you're about to tip over okay like 
Those speed signs on the road saying 55 for a turn in a car, dude, I can do that at 70, no problem. In this truck, I barely even do five over that because it still feels, I don't know, maybe that's just the rookie trucker in me, but I don't know, man. I'm hoping this exit ramp, because last time we were short on time when we had to go to Seagullville, the exit to go to Interstate 20 was closed and we had to go down and then come back. Just don't have time for stuff like that today. Like, I don't know. I'm hoping that we can make it there without a DOT violation because that would be really bad. You know, three weeks out from my end date with CFI, which I haven't, I've told, I've asked about it, but I haven't really put in my two weeks yet. Uh, just because like, you know, I probably could give them three weeks notice, but I just, I'm waiting till that two weeks mark. So when this video comes out, Jay will have turned in his two weeks notice, I guess, because I'm gonna do it this Friday and today's Monday. So we still have two videos to come out. So yeah, Shreveport is where we need to head towards. Don't be going so slow, bro. You're literally on the interstate. That's the one thing I don't understand. It's people who don't know how to merge. This guy, like, look, that guy knows how to drive. <laughs> Yeah, we do need to go east. That kind of threw me for a curveball for a second. Okay. All right, guys. We made it to Seagullville with 10 minutes left on our clock. We're going to have parked here in the Bobtail parking. All right, there's a good spot, I think. A little tight, but should be fine. We cut it out too late. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to fix it here. There we go. Look at that. So 11 minutes is what we had left. I don't know how we made up that good time because uh, it was looking pretty rough coming on up. But we got it done, so. I guess it's a, I went to turn the wheel the wrong way. That's what happens when you're uh, driving all day, I guess, right? Driving an 18 wheeler. Turn the wheel the wrong way. All right, we need to slow her down now. We don't rip out that curb back there. Then we're gonna take a look and see how many miles we drove today. Well, hopefully we didn't just pop a tire. Just kidding, I don't think we did. All right, we need to go off. We're not driving anymore, so let's let's just do this wheel real quick. So take a second. Um, brake. We'll go on the board, but we gotta get a camera installed tomorrow, so they might have to take it off of us. So we're here at Seagullville. All right, let's take a look. How many miles do we drive? View logs, I don't know. We drove 661 miles today. I know it says kilometers, but I don't know if you guys can see that too well. Six hundred sixty-one miles, six hundred sixty-six miles. I know it says kilometers, but I don't know what's wrong with my tablet. I went in the settings and changed it to miles, but it's stuck on kilometers. Um, and like, if I go in and change it right now, it will literally still say six hundred sixty-six miles. So that's kind of crazy, guys. I'll turn on this camera. I probably look rough. It's been a long day. That's literally drove the clock down. Let's see. We only have an hour, so that means we worked a 12 and a half hour day. So, hit that like button for Jay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come on, everything is A-OK -okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living. Come on.